Jamal's Cave James. Evangelist Jamel James is the daughter of James, Daddy Key, and the late Johnny May Key. She is one of six siblings. She is a native of Columbus, Ohio. She attended Columbus State, majoring in business management. Evangelist James expressed her hope in Christ during her teen years. She was active in the youth ministry and was baptized at Rock of Faith Baptist Church in Columbus, Ohio. Evangelist James wears many hats. She is the wife of Dr. Phil Carl James, serving as a proud First Lady of Mount Zion Baptist Church. Amen. She is the mother of, I'm sorry if I mess up your name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Joris and Joseph James. She is a friend, a leader, and a four-time car driving Mary Kay Direct. <laughs> She is a counselor, a mentor, a nature, a motivator, and a confidant. She speaks life into individuals who feel free as they have lost hope. Helping them to see Jesus is still the answer for the world today. She has spoken at variety, women's conferences, and retreats. She believes that we may go through hard trials. However, we can learn how to fake it until we make it. Amen. At Mount Zion, she is involved in various ministries, co-leader of the Youth Usher Board, co-leader of the Women's Empowerment Ministry, director of the Praise Leaders, and serves on the Community Engagement Ministry team. All right. Her favorite song, I Won't Complain. Her favorite scripture is one that was taught to her by her mother, John 14 and 1. Let not your own heart be troubled, you believe in God, believe also in me. Evangelist James' model for life is, if I can help someone, as I pass along this way, then my living shall not be in vain. Amen. 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 As we get ready to welcome her, we're just going to say, just give us a word from God, evangelist. As she rises to her feet and comes up, let's welcome her.
nigh unto thee, hoping to come unto thee shortly. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou ought to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the house of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believe on in the world, receive up into glory. Lord, we just thank you. We just take a deep breath and we just uh, drink of you, Lord God. More, more, more. We just need more of you, oh God. So much more, oh God. We just need you, oh God. Lord, help me to decrease that you may increase, oh God. Hide me behind the cross, Lord, that they may be able to hear a word from you, Lord. I pray that when we leave here, Lord, that we would not leave here the same way we came. Lord, that we would be changed vessels ready to go out and do your ministry, that which you called us to do. So now, Lord, we rest in you. We trust in you. And we give you all the glory and all the honor in the strong name of Jesus. We just bless you and we give you a shout out. Hallelujah. Different types of people 
People are coming in with different doctoral beliefs and are bringing some of those same doctoral beliefs into the church. Yeah, yeah. There are all kinds of external and internal concerns within the body as well. There is concern that we would keep the faith and live according to the word of God and not according to the tradition of man. With the, we wanted to be able to make sure that we would be able to keep the unity of the spirit with the bond of peace. We do have concern about order in the church because we want to make sure that everything is working in decency and in order. I'm so glad that this body of believers here, the women of this church, desires to live as kingdom women and men according to God's word. But in order to live as kingdom women and men according to God's word, you must first have a relationship with the Lord. You can not only just have him as savior of your life, but you got to have him also as Lord of your life. So often, we believe that if you are a member of a church, that you are saved. Joining church does not save you. Just like joining the gym don't make you feel. Romans 10 and 9 says that if you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe within your heart, you shall be saved. There is no other name that men can be saved. You can join the church and never join, join Christ. That's right. You can be in the church and the church not be in you. Yes. But real Christianity is not merely religion, it's relationship. All right. To be a woman living according to God's word, you must have an intimate relationship with the Lord. Yes. That's yes. allowing us saying, into me you see. Yes. Yes. You know how when you were growing up and you had your first boyfriend or girlfriend and you like being able to spend time with them and you like being able to take a walk and every time you see them you, you were excited and it was just something about that time of spending with them. Well so it is in the natural. It is in the spirit. The father wants to walk and talk with you. He wants to hold your hand. He wants you to fall in love with him, and he wants you to have an intimate relationship with you. He wants you to be able to know how much he loves you, so then as you know how much he loves you, you then in return can love him and love someone else. All right. Your heavenly father and relationship with him is more important than anything else that you do. The time that you spend singing in the choir and being a deacon and a trustee and all those things that you do, yeah. none of them mean anything more than the time that you spend with the Father. Yeah. When you're in a relationship with the Father, he will tell you where to go. He'll tell you what to say. He'll tell you what to do and what not to do. So often we want the blessings of God. But we are not willing to have the relationship with the Father in order to invest in, to be able to have the things of God coming to us. He wants you to have a relationship with him so that his will will become your will and your love will become strong as you walk and talk with him. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. If you are going to be a man or a woman of God living according to God's word, you have to know his word. You have to hide his word in your heart. You have to have the mind of Christ. The Bible says in Philippians 2 and 5, it said, let this mind be in you, which also was in Christ Jesus. You have to be able to have the renewing of your mind and the spirit of your mind. You have to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You have to be able to take every thought captive under the obedience of Christ. That's good. You have to let take every thought captive That's good. under the obedience of Christ. Yeah, yeah. You have to be able to take those thoughts mm -hmm. captive mm -hmm. under the obedience of God. You have to be able to think on the
those things that are true. Think yeah. of those things that are honest. Yeah. Think of those things that are pure and yeah. lovely and of good report. Yeah. He said, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, yeah. think on these things. Yeah. Think on these things. You got to guard your heart and your mind. You have to be in the Word so that the Word of God can be in you. Yeah. You got to study the Word so that the Word is deep down inside of you. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to be women of God yeah. and being able to walk yeah. as godly women, yeah. and we said we got to hide the Word in our hearts and we got to take every thought. And it said we got to have the mind. Let this mind be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you. Uh, Brother Robert, come up here. I need your help. For a minute. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. Have you had some ridiculous? Christ for right now. Yeah. 
yeah. and have it in you, you have to then begin to study the word of God and think on those things. Because now the order of what has been given to you has been already given. Think All right. On, think on those things. Think on those <laughs> that are loving yeah. and are just good report. And so when your friends come to me and tell you that you know why. So some of the things that we're 
asking for in our lives and in our marriage and in our relationship, we believe in it according to our level of faith and not according to the Word of God. Because if you were believe it according to the Word of God, you would know the Word, yeah. then you would speak the Word, yeah. and then the Word would then activate yeah. what it is that you want. Yeah. Do you get that? Amen. So, if we in the church and we're saying we believe God that he's going to bring all things together for our good, he's going to work it out, and we're saying that, but we're not in the word, and we're not studying his word to show ourselves approved, if we're not walking by faith and not by sight, then what we're saying is mere words. Yeah. So if you want to become and have the unity of the spirit with the bond of peace, that yet means that you have to be in the word of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So the mind of Christ. The other thing that we have to do in order to be kingdom men and women walking according to God's word is that we got to lay some things aside. We got to be willing to be able to forget some things and be able to press towards the mark of the high calling. We got to lay aside some of our tradition. We got to lay aside our own opinions. We got to lay aside those things that easily beset us anger and bitterness. We got to lay aside the day of Satan. That's being easily offended. That you're being offended by things that somebody has said or done to you. That you feel like you have a right to be able to hold on to those things. But to be kingdom women and men of God, we have to be willing to say, I can lay that aside. How do I lay that aside? Through prayer, through fasting through the word of God, through singing, to be able to allow the word to pour in you richly. Hallelujah. You know, when we think about one of the women in the Bible, Esther, only two women in the Bible that books were made. Esther had a kingdom. She knew that she had been called. to go. 
she gone, even though she had been given the information that was needed to be able to go to the king, she still knew that she had to go in the right way. Yes. She had to go right. That's right. And she could not just go to the king any kind of way. You can't just go to your pastor any kind of way. That's right. Even though you, you may have the right information uh -huh. and you may have something that's really uh -huh. important, that's right. but if you're not willing to first go and pray, All right. be able to get the strategy of what needs to be able to happen, to be able to help the people of God. And so when she did go, All right. and was able to go to see the king, she was able to share with him what needed to, what was going on, so that she had been called for such a time as this. So my question to you today is, if we're going to be kingdom women, we also got to be able to have kingdom agenda. All right. And then once we have kingdom agenda, we got to be able to have kingdom strategy. All right. So that we can then walk in kingdom authority. All right. We got to be able to have kingdom agenda with kingdom strategy walking in kingdom authority. Right. So my question to you is, what has God called you for yes. for such a time as this? Yes. All right. What has God called you for for such a time as this? That you may line up within your heart and in your mind according to God's word, that you would have the strategy that when the enemy comes and raises up or rises up a standard against you, you'll be able to have the word of God. You'll be able to say that I am the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. I am the head and I'm not the tail. I am blessed and highly favored. I'll be able to know that I can do all things through Christ with strengthens me. That even though I'm going through trials and tribulations, I'm able to be able to hold on because I have the word in me. I've been anchored in the Lord.
so that when things come your way, you'll be able to stand in the righteousness of God according to his word. And you'll know that it's not about me. That it's all about him. You'll be able to know that, yes, Jesus is said at the end of that, they said that you would know the mystery. The mystery was that a God who loved us so much was willing to send his son to be able to come down to earth and then to die for us and then to be able to go away and to be able to sit at the right hand of the Father and make intercession for us. But then he left unto us the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us that gives us all power and authority of the believer. That we already have everything we need in us to be more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. We have everything we need in order to be more than a conqueror. But the question is, are you willing, are you willing to let this moment
that you are the beginning, you are the Christ, you are our deliverer, you are our everlasting Father, you are the faithful one, the great I am, the, the high priest. I am that I am, Jehovah Chira, the keeper of our faith, the lover of our life. Lord God, help us to be able to know who you are and then for us to be able to know whose we are and who we are in you, oh God. Lord, as we strive to be kingdom men and women living according to your word, help us, Lord God, to come together in prayer and fasting. Help us that we would seek your face before we seek your hand. Help us before we make decisions, Lord, that we trust you more, oh God, that we seek you, Lord God, that we fall on our face and be able to ask you, what is it, Lord, that you would have us to do, oh God? Lord, help us to be able to take every thought captive. See, does it line up with what the call and purpose of our life is, Lord God? Lord, help us to be able to know that we can stand on your word, but we got to be able to know that the word that we stand on, Lord, has to line up with our life living it according to you, Lord. It says, if my people, that's conditional, if you abide, if you walk upright, Lord, help us to be able to, not to be hearers of your word, but doers as well. Help us, oh God, to be able to know without a shout that we know, that we know, that we know who you are and who we are in you, God. We thank you, and thank you for loving us. We give you glory and honor, and the strong name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I need more. I need so much more of you, God. I need more.
He said, you must trust in the Lord with all thy heart, all thy mind, and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. You've gotten off course for whatever reason. This is your opportunity to come back to God and get your mind right. Give every fiber of your being unto God. Won't you come and let the men and women of God pray for you? The Bible says if there's any among you that are sick, come and be anointed with oil and the sick shall recover. Now we take that as a physical illness. But I stopped by to tell you today that you can be mentally ill. Because if your mind has allowed you to be separated from God, you are sick. Amen. And you are on your way to a burning hell. But there's good news. There's good news to the story. That Jesus can create in you a clean heart and renew the right spirit in you. Would you want to come? Just, just touch somebody and say, I need to get to the altar. And I need to allow the men and women of God to pray for me. Won't you come? The altar is open. Amen. what level I feel like I've achieved in God, I can always use some more. Amen. So if you don't need nobody to pray for you and you're in a praying mood, please pray for me. Amen. Because the enemy is raging and we are under attack as children of God. And we see it manifesting on the, in the news and other countries. But we have to stand up. Amen. We must stand for that which God has called us to do. You are a peculiar person. You are set aside for the things of God. Amen. We cannot allow this world to be consumed by sin. Somebody got to stand up for the Lord. God just need a few good men and women to say, for God I live and for God I will allow nothing to separate me from the love of God. Amen. Quit being a Christian that turn your head to sin. When you see sin, you ought to speak a word. You ought to come against the enemy. You ought to look him in the eye and say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ain't no time for no scared Christians. Amen. You've been running around all week with the Bible in your hand. And then when trouble comes, you want to run. You want to hide. You want to talk about your anointing at a point. Amen. God needs some folk to go to battle. You need to pick up your Uzi, which is the word of God. And you need to start riding tack tack. Amen. Where well, they're being dried by. You need to get out your sword, which is the truth, and begin to cut some folk. Say the devil is a liar and the truth ain't in it. Amen. God is tired of y'all praying. Y'all scared Christians. He just wants some folk to come forth with boldness and empower and declare work. I know you ain't very powerful. Maybe you've gotten a little older and you weak, but there's power. To stand against fornication, to stand against adultery, to stand against alcoholism and drugs. God has anointed you. Hallelujah. You ought to walk in authority. Y'all walking like y'all been over, all broke down. Amen. If you broke down, the word of God said, look to the hills from which coming your help. All my help comes from God. Glory. Hallelujah. The word of God has been preached today. Amen. And we pray that just like that young man put the word in his heart, some of us need to hide the word in our heart that we might not sin against it. We have heard the word of God. Amen. We have opened the doors of the church. Amen. Jesus has told us, you've heard the word and you hide your heart. That's on you. But the word of God has been preached today. And I am charging you today to fall out of love with the word. Fall in love with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's get God's name. You know, we truly have, we had a wonderful day. Amen. Oh, Lord, I hate to say Women's Day, but it was. But every day is God's day. I'm not, I'm not talking about the way. I'm talking about the way the word of God has been presented. Amen. It hasn't been presented as a woman. 
has, hasn't been presented as a man. It has been presented as pure and adulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. And so I love that. I love that. The foundation has been set. And the women of God have brought a word for God's people. And so we, we are so in awe of God. We are so in awe of evangelists. Thank God for accepting our invitation. Amen. Oh, I, that baseball hat got me, y'all. <laughs> amen, amen. So, thank God she fixed that thing up, didn't she? <laughs> and she has charged us today to examine everything that comes across our path. Amen. We, we, we need to be slow. We need to slow down. We want everything fast. Amen. We want to. You want to drive up to the prayer line and say, I want a number four, baby fry, diet coat. We want to drive around to the window and get it. God don't work like that. Amen. You got to spend some time in his presence, some time in his word. And then God, when he show up, he'll show out. Amen. If you get him to show up, the show out is inevitable. Amen. But he ain't showing up because you ain't in the right place. Amen. And that's what kingdom-minded people have to be. We have to be thinking about the king, his word, his wisdom at all times. Amen. 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 So we thank God. We're going to ask, amen, uh, First Lady China, who's the, the chairman of our Women's Day, to come, and then we'll have last words. Oh, my goodness. Hey, let's get some trays, Deacon, and let's take up an offering. Amen. This woman of God. They back there on the, there we go. This the trays. And not back there. Alright. Let's come forth with an offering. Is it two baskets right there? Yeah. That's good enough. Come on with that. Two. 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 There we go. Come on, Dean. Come on up. Come on up here. We're gonna put them on the pedestal. We're gonna let them do some walking. They've been sitting for a minute. They don't look like gonna stretch out. Amen. 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 Deacon Robeson, stay up here. Deacon, Sister Robeson. Sister Robeson, you couldn't stand on the other one. Amen. Stand on another tray. What Deacon Robeson will be standing will be for our uh, Women's Day service and then uh, where. Uh, Deaconess Roberson is standing. It'll be for our Women's Day Evangelist. Amen. We don't, we don't use speaker around here. Amen. So it'll be for the woman of God. She'll be standing. Amen. Amen. We're now in the hands of our greeters. Amen. Let's give us a little walking music.
bless it, O oh God. We ask you to uh, anoint it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for those that had to give, those who truly had it not. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to again just thank the Lord for just being here and um, thanking Minister Kelso and the ensemble and our church family. I just praise God for you all coming and, and supporting and in the absence of our, our pastor. I want to encourage you once again with the word of God. I, I love your uh, theme of being kingdom men and women. I add the men in there, living according to the word of God, because it's all about the word, and it's all about hiding it in our hearts, that we may not sin against the Lord. And so we really want to be um, the people that God, God is calling for, because when we walk in unity as a body of believer, according to God's word, nothing, nothing can stop us from that which God has for us. Amen. 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 But when you don't have the word, you're open to receive any and everything to come your way, and that's what you stand on, and that's what you trust. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you all. Thank you. Amen. 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 You want me to pray for prayer? Can you stand up and take somebody by the hand? Take somebody by the hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we need you, Lord. More. 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 Lord, I need so much more of you, oh God. More. Lord, I pray for your people, Lord. That when they feel like they're getting weary and well doing, Lord God, help them to continue to be steadfast and unmovable. Lord, when it just seems like things are coming at them and they just don't know what to do, that they would find their anchor in you, oh God, that they would just cling to your word and to you, oh God, and to the power that is already in them, Lord. I thank you, oh God, for your people. Bind them together, bind us all together with cords of love that cannot be broken. Help us to be able to know that we are unstoppable when we are connected and lined up with your word, oh God. Help us to be able to know that we have the power and the authority of the believer, hallelujah. And when Jesus got up from the cross, he gave us power and authority as well to be able to tread on the enemy's head 
So Lord, I ask that you would allow your people to go forth today with power and authority, walking, Lord God, with kingdom, authority, agenda, according to your word, Lord. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, Lord. In the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.